it go, you know, trade stocks basically. Oh man, we'll see. Definitely a possibility. At the same time, Ice Ninja's now got uh, Seal on the rope right here. Yeah, that's gonna be a read. Good damage right there on that down throw. Oh, look at the knockback right there on Yoshi. Use that back. Oh my goodness, he's using that the back air and now the side B so well. <gasps> Did you just notice how Corin went for the forward smash? Yoshi's fair kind of, it kind of like ate it. Yeah, it was weird. Well, uh, interrupting the up B with the nair, I believe, right there. Does take the stock. Still has a lot of legwork to do on the last stock, but at the same time, can't really cat him out of this. Yoshi can spike you out of nowhere, so. Oh, definitely. And Yoshi racks up a lot of damage. You know, that down air that you was about to see from Seal could have racked up some good damage, but Ice Ninja coming through swiftly with that back air, yeah. taking the last stock in that game. And I have to say, man, back air is such a good tool, right? Because if you miss, I mean, it kind of helps you reposition yourself, huh? Yeah. Yep. And that's the thing, like, you're absolutely right. Like, back air is one of those, is one of the kind of moves that Ice Ninja really, really loves. You've seen him do it with Palutena all the time. Back air, so good for spacing, so good for presenting himself. At least if he misses, he won't be caught out too heavily. Yeah. And that's, that's, that, that's the main part of his gameplay. Very defensive, likes to wall you out, abuse spacing up to its premium. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, down to game two with Ice Ninja in the lead. Sticking to Corrin, no switches here. I mean, it worked out for him in the first game, right? Why not Why not stick to it? Of course, exactly. And I mean, that's the thing. Like His Palutena is great, but he's definitely playing the matchup here. Mm -hmm. And Seal going to have to figure out a way to adjust here and maybe get a little uh, a, a, a bit closer this time around. Because last one, it kind of ran away from him because Ice Ninja was able to combo him off pretty well. And Interesting. I think he was expecting a uh, a drop there from Seal. Oh, down B, right? Yeah. Okay. Right now we just have I Ice Ninja doing a pretty awesome job at just capitalizing on whenever you see Seal take to the skies. Oh, that's a. a <laughs> that was a close. That was a close one right there. He's really uh, opting for that paralyzer. There you go. Tipper side B, and there's your stock. So fast too, catching Yoshi off guard there. Early, sure. mm -hmm. early going didn't really uh, present much for Ice Ninja, I guess, going like in terms of trying to find ground. But as soon as he got one opportunity, yeah. that's it. That's nuts. Here we have it, Ice Ninja, right now. Just trying to sit on this lead. How is Seal going to be able to open up Ice Ninja? Very good. Oh, double jump. Yeah. Armor right there, allowing him to get through the uh, neutral B charge. Yeah. He had his chance there and definitely could have punished, but just wasn't able to take the opportunity when it was presented. Oh boy, that's gonna knock him up. And uh, last stock here, potentially of winners. Ooh. Okay. I I do like the patience there that he uh, waited for the counter to finalize and then went for the S smash. Pretty smart. Yeah. But that's then just still having the lead. We might see a grab KO soon. Uh, he's definitely gonna play perfectly from this point on for. And it, it obviously it, it's easier said than done. But all you need is one solid momentum-based read, and that can easily get you back into a game. It's seems funny talking about it, but we've seen some crazy things in this game before. Very wow. good decision right there by Ice Ninja, and one of the reasons for that is knowing how if the op opponent doesn't quite have access to shield as uh, uh, well, couldn't confidently go for the shield option, knowing that the grab.